On this episode of the Ritual Misery podcast, uh, Kent had a birthday, and so did the nation. And we're also going to talk about some dinosaurs goofing around uh, in a movie. And we're also going to talk about Jurassic World. Oh, well, <laughs> not one of the same. Hey, uh, what's going on with Steam right now? I know they have some things on sale. We'll get into why I know that. <laughs> hey, man, I visited New England this week. Um, amazing. Uh, we'll get to that. Uh, also found out about Apple's five-year plan. Um, and 4th of July. Really? Hello and welcome to the Ritual Misery Podcast, episode 179, we think, for Thursday, the 5th of July, 2018. We're pretty sure of that one. This is a show where two lifelong friends talk about geek stuff and celebrate geek and and have geek thoughts. And, man, we don't have a guest tonight, so I guess we don't have to talk about them. Kent, how you doing, dude? Uh, I'm doing great. Earlier, Lucas asked me who the guest is tonight, and uh, I said, uh, nobody, it's just me and Amos. He goes, oh, so basically Amos is your guest. Uh, uh, that's in reference to last to last week, me running the show alone. Yeah, you've done it you've done it a uh, few times here lately. That man, my life has not been easy. I, I'm not saying I've I got a hard. I'm not living on the streets. It's a like, hard knock life for, for us. Amos. Um, it's uh, I tell you what, dude. It's just like you you hit certain periods in your life where shit just keeps going on, and it's it's not necessarily bad stuff or good stuff. It's just like constant. It's just boom, 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 and that's that's kind of where I've been at for the last about a month now so right um yeah good times hey uh yesterday i said today well just now just now i said today is the 5th of july that makes yesterday the 4th of july and the day prior to that the 3rd of july uh two of those are birthdays i'm sure the 5th of july is a birthday for somebody out there but definitely not <laughs> not me um you're like you're, you're caught up to me again you're now officially just as old as i am kind of uh yeah man uh i had a birthday this week yeah it was pretty great how old are we uh, 41 last i checked Jesus. i think if my math is right that's we're, uh we're 82 ooh. combined right oh god <laughs> <laughs> i don't know if that's good i don't you know i don't know what implications are there like what does that mean <laughs> like it, together we're 82 yeah just i, I mm, any way that you look at that i don't think it's right um how's your birthday I'm man i'm just looking well, I'm looking forward to next year when hopefully I can unlock the secrets of the universe. Oh, right, right. Life, universe, and everything. Right. Uh, uh, well, I'll, I'll let you know a few months ahead of time. Uh, no, I had a pretty good birth- birthday this year. Uh, it was weird because it kind of fell in the middle of the week. Mm-hmm. Uh, typically, I am fortunate enough to have a birthday that's in conjunction with the 4th of July. So usually I get a a long, really long extended weekend, weekend and. Yeah. I get to celebrate my birthday in conjunction with that, and I'm off work and all that kind of stuff. Well, it didn't work out that way this year. Yeah. Uh, so what I did was I took two days of leave, Monday and Tuesday. Yeah. And that gave me five days off in a row for the price of two. So <laughs> can't complain, <laughs> complain about that. Had a few people over, did a barbecue. Yeah. Uh, drank some beer, uh, hung out. It was a really, really good time. Hmm. Well, we're, we're gonna we're gonna talk about the fourth a little bit later, but uh, suffice it to say that you have one of those special birthdays where uh, the twenty fourth of December, the third of July, there are a few holidays out there that are locked to a certain day and not mm-hmm. not a day of the week, but an actual date. And right. you have that birthday where every time you have a birthday, your next day is a day off. Yeah, unless you yeah. flip to retail every or some time. shit. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that ain't happening. Um, hey, uh, I, I went to uh, New England this week. Uh, the reason I wasn't on the show last week had a basically a family emergency. I had to fly out there. I got. I can, I can now officially say I got four states off my list. Four additional states. Yes, four states that I had never been to before, or at least that I didn't qualify uh, as having been there before. Because I don't. If you land in in an airport and you don't leave the airport, that's not. You're not. You haven't seen the state. You haven't seen even the city. Yeah, um, we used to for deployments and and uh, TDYs and stuff like that. We used to count them if you have a beer in that airport. Okay, I mean it's still in the airport so, though. I I still wouldn't qualify that because you you didn't leave the airport. Like 
For you to visit a state, you have to leave the mass transit hub from which you arrived. Yeah, technically that's true, but I'm still counting Maine because I was in the Bangor <laughs> airport and had a beer. So. Uh, well, I can, I can count Maine because I actually had to stay over a couple times, um, which means I left the airport. I stayed at the airport hotel, but I was there long enough to, like, I was there for two days. Like, anyway. You you breathed the air and touched the soil. Right. Um, there's a, uh, there's... There's certain times when you go to an airport, like like going into flying to Okinawa and you fly into into Tokyo, and you don't go to the, you, was it you fly into Narita, which is the international airport, but it's not a regional airport, so then you mm. have to we have to take a bus up to Nikita or whatever it is. Uh, yeah, just, I don't remember the airport names, but I, I do remember that the bus goes right past Tokyo Disney. Right, yes. Uh, so I have done that. I have not seen Tokyo. I cannot claim Tokyo as a city I visited because I never left the mass transit system. You mm. see, that that's my qualifier there. Uh, uh, mass transit, okay. Right, because I went to two different airports in two different parts of the city, technically two different cities, but Tokyo is basically just a huge homogenous it's like LA. anyway. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't claim that I've ever been to Tokyo or, or have, know anything about Tokyo because I've just driven through it on a mass transit system, had no control over anything. It didn't stop along the way. Um, but we landed in, I landed in Hartford, Connecticut, drove south through Hartford and went down to Philly. Uh, New Jersey was already off my list, so that wasn't a big deal. I had never been to New York. I've now seen, well, we'll get to that. We drove past New York City to get on the the uh george washington bridge and crossed the the hudson so that was mm. interesting but again i haven't been to new york city because well i was in the car the entire time so i'm not counting that you saw it from afar right uh i didn't even see the the, the statue of liberty like that's like the, the quintessential thing if you go to new york city right if you haven't seen the statue of liberty mm. then you don't count and you can see <laughs> from, you can see it from like half the city but anyway uh, yeah, we, we went down to Philly. I can now say that I've been to Philly and having had been to Philly and experienced some of Philly for a while for a day and a half or whatever, I can now say that I've been to Pennsylvania because previously I'd only ever been to the airport and taken a cab to McGuire Air Force Base at the time. Mm -hmm. Uh, so Philly was marked off the list. Connecticut, or, uh, not yeah, Connecticut was marked off the list. Then we went from Philly up to, we met up with Odakta in Jersey, had lunch with him and then continued North into New York. So I got to see New York. Um, New York's awesome. Stayed, sp spent like almost two days there. New York was great. It was hot. It's beautiful up there. We were up in the up in the Catskills area, mm -hmm. uh, which I'd always wanted to see, and ha I can now mark off my list. And then uh, went drove from there through Massachusetts back to Connecticut to catch the plane back to Alaska. So I drove through Massachusetts. We stopped there. We had lunch. I can say that I've been to Massachusetts. So awesome. Yeah. Four more states yeah. off the list. I think that that leaves like five left for me to visit. Yeah, New England New England is a is a big uh gaping hole in my in my um resume, I guess. My state I, resume. I, I gotta tell you, man, I always thought that those places were so far apart. Boston is like an hour and a half from New York. Like it's yeah. nothing. Blows me away. There's so many big cities that have, have such a cultural reference uh, uh cultural um uh, you know what? I'm, what what word am I looking for? I don't know. Reference point. You started to say reference, so yeah, we can but say reference wouldn't. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, the cultural staple in American society are these cities, and they're like right next to each other. Then you go out mm -hmm. west, and like L.A. is nowhere near Seattle. You know, <laughs> right? <laughs> like hell, it's not even anywhere near San Francisco. No, <laughs> that's in the same state. Right, San Francisco and Oakland. Okay, you got the you got kind of the same thing. There's a bridge between them. Got it. Uh, yeah, but, I mean, I mean, that's kind of Twin Cities, though. I mean. Right, right. I mean, the Bay Area is kind of like just one homogenous bl blob of whatever. So, um, yeah, that was that was cool. Uh, met a lot of great people and had a lot of fun. Had some beers and took some pictures, and that was that was a lot of fun. So that was my last weekend, and yeah, and why I wasn't on the show last week? Yeah, well, I mean, the uh, the reason for going maybe uh, maybe not so great, but it's it's good that you got to experience all that. That's right. That's really good. And more, most importantly, uh, all the kids are back in the house now. So we have nine people permanently living here. And my mom arrived this morning, so we have 10 people in the house. She's visiting for about two and a half weeks, I think, something like that. Um, yeah, it's a very full house, but should be should make the, inter the summer a lot more interesting. I'll give you that. <laughs> yeah, that part is for sure. It's going to be interesting no matter what. Yeah. Um, I, so I, I want to show off one of my birthday gifts. Uh-oh. Um, I, I, I got a letter 
cool geeky stuff. And uh, uh, hold, hold, thing, on, hold on, hold on. Beam says, "Can I come live with you?" He says that in the chat room over on uh, uh, ritualmisery.twitch.tv. I think that's the address, right? Something like that. Um, Twitch.tv slash ritualmisery. Sure, whatever. Um, uh, <laughs> you see how committed I am to it. Uh, he says, can I come live with you? Uh, sure. I got a trailer out there. You can come live in the trailer in the travel trailer, but anytime we go on vacation, you got to move the fuck out. So, I mean, it, it comes with risks. Yeah. That, that's, uh, that's when you have to move into a tent. <laughs> Media King 909 says the line forms behind me. Uh, I mean, if you're scrapping for my trailer, I mean, it's a nice trailer. Don't get me wrong. It's, it's, it's pretty posh. Kent lived in there for a, a week or whatever for new year's one year. Uh, oh, true. Yeah, it's, it's not bad, but I don't know if it's worth fighting for. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know if it's necessarily worth paying for, but I'm doing that, so I guess I don't really. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not a not a good judge of trailer character. <laughs> Jeez, trailer character. That, that, it's like a whole topic right there. That's a it's an '80s band name right there. <laughs> or at least it should be. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, but yeah. So I, I got a lot of a lot of cool geeky stuff for my birthday, and one of the things that uh, watchers of this show on Twitch.tv slash Ritual Misery know is that I've got this Funko Pop collection mm -hmm. here. This kind of uh, always my companion companions on the show. Mm -hmm. I got this guy uh, to add to my collection, and um, I didn't even I, I would never have guessed that Funko made a figure of Bob Ross, but oh, sure yeah. they do. Yeah. And my son gave this to me and I am still in awe of it. Every time I look at it, how the hell is there a Bob Ross figure and how am I so lucky to have it? So <laughs> he, here's the thing about Bob Ross. He was a cultural icon, right? Like we grew up watching Bob Ross, the little shorts in between cartoons and stuff like that and watching him oh, yeah. paint uh, happy little clouds and all that kind of stuff. Right. Yeah, yeah. Um, he never sold any merchandise that I know of. But now that he's gone, now that he's died, his estate is cashing in as hard as possible. There's Bob Ross puzzles. I saw Bob <laughs> Ross shit at Disney. There's Bob Ross Funko dolls. There's like you can get a Bob Ross mask at Halloween this year. I guarantee fucking tee it. Oh yeah, that's for sure. And I, I think Twitch actually has a, a lot of. Uh, they can take a lot of credit for that. Yeah because they did that marathon a couple of years yep. ago and people that had never even heard of Bob Ross are now like huge Bob Ross fans. Yeah. He, uh, man, major loss on that one. Like it was one of those things I never really cherished very much until after, after I'd gone yeah. beyond the age where I should have cared. I mean, he was almost as important to me as Mr. Rogers was like, he was right. He's that much of a staple in my, in the memories of my childhood. But see, even Mr. Rogers, I didn't really care for Mr. Rogers when I was growing up because I'm not a good person. And <laughs> now that he's dead, like I'm going back watching Mr. Rogers with, with autumn. And it's like the best fucking show ever. Oh yeah, dude. I, I like some of my earliest memories are watching Mr. Rogers and that's like, I loved him always. I wanted him, I wanted him to be my neighbor. Yeah, uh, M Beam says Bob Ross water bong with the the puffy little little bubbles, right? <laughs> he'll oh, be he'll geez. be create happy clouds. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's a that's a product idea right there. Like, that thing now. Yeah, go on, make that happen. Um, <laughs> I I actually saw a because I'm not into the Funko dolls. I think it's cool, but it's one of those things like I'm a completionist, so I'd never I could never start oh. that shit. Because yeah, there's like 17 billion of them and they they don't make yeah. half of them. Like I think they announce them and put them on the packaging, but don't actually make like half the fucking dolls that they show in the package. Um, I did see one that I thought was just awesome. And if this magically appeared in the fucking Ritual Misery uh, mailbag, I would be absolutely astonished. We don't have a Ritual Misery mailbag. We should probably do that one day. Um, <laughs> Pennywise. The new Pennywise oh. Funko doll. There's nice. a couple of them. The one that the, I, I originally saw was Pennywise in the sewer. So it's like a scene. You know, they have the scene ones, right? Mm -hmm. And it's Pennywise in the sewer. And I was like, yeah, but who's going to really, I mean, like, really? And then right next to it was the actual Pennywise one with the fucking crazy smile and like the, oh, my God. I was like, that's a fucking Funko I could, I could stand behind. I don't want to stand in front of it too long. But I could definitely fucking get behind that one. That was, that's a badass looking Funko doll. Nice. Um, yeah, that, that shit was, was really cool. Um, okay. So you got, you got some Bob Ross stuff going on. I, I, I would, oh man, Bob Ross. Like, I don't even know. Um, 
Indian says a Bob Ross Chia pet. I th- isn't that already a thing? Oh, I. It should be like, like just, I, I would be surprised if it's not. That just seems like something that, that should already exist. Yeah, I bet it does. Maybe we just imagined it. it maybe it was every time we saw one of those little Chia pet uh, things, we always just imagined Bob Ross in that with his hair grown just crazy like. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Could be. Hey, uh, I had to take my MacBook Pro in for some service. The battery oh. was dying at 30%. Basically, I spent the entire year in Korea with my MacBook Pro plugged in. So the battery didn't get used, but it still got depleted. I don't know exactly how it works because I'm an electrician for the Air Force, and I have no idea how fucking electricity works. Um, <laughs> so I had to get the battery replaced. I'm glad I did it now. Like I, I didn't want to do it before Disney because like we're saving our money, all our money for Disney. So we came back from Disney, and I was like, okay, here you go. Uh, Chia Bob Ross Pottery Planner. Uh, Mbeam's got the link in the show uh, in the, uh, the the chat room. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure we put that in the show notes. Because seriously, that's got to happen. That is pretty great, actually. Wow. Yeah, that's. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let's bring that up. Let's let's look at this. Oh, see, look, Jesus, man, this is. Uh, <laughs> look at that. Fifteen ninety seven. This is going in the show notes. Yeah, this will be in the show notes. You can go ahead and click on the link in the show notes, and uh, we'll get, Amazon will kick us back like three pennies of that fifteen ninety seven. So you can support the show by buying Bob Ross shit and. Uh, Send us pictures on Twitter at Ritual Misery of your Bob Ross planter growing. We want to see this shit. We definitely want to see this. Um, Without a doubt. That, yes. That's got to happen. Um, hey, uh, let's see. What, what else are we talking about? Oh, we we're talking about my MacBook. Um, so the battery was shit. It was dying at 30%. Mm. And I would mm-hmm. charge it, and it would immediately start charging like 60% and just go up from there. So I went and replaced it. Of course, it's the t- mid-2012... Um, MacBook Pro, the the first one with the Retina screen, all the parts are glued inside, so they had to replace like the entire top half of the bottom half of the computer. I don't know if that made sense, but so I got a new uh, new keyboard, new mouse pad, new batteries, all that kind of stuff. It's working phenomenally now. Cost me a couple hundred dollars to fix it because, well, why not? But when I when I bought it, of course, it's a two thousand dollar laptop when I bought it. Um, Rick was like, well, you better let make this last more than your normal four years. <laughs> Cause I have a four year cycle on laptops. So I was like, well, this will last me at least eight. I'll make it eight. It still kicks ass as far as power goes. Uh, no pun intended. So having a $200 battery replacement <laughs> six years into a, into a computer's life, not too bad. Mm-hmm, it still mm-hmm. works just as good as it, as it ever did. So yeah, I had to do that. Well, when I did that, I found out that five years after Apple, stops manufacturing when, once they take it off off the market so my macbook came out august 2012 or so july 2012 and they produced it for about a year and then they stopped i guess about yeah about a year five years after they take that model off the market they stop supporting it mm, this is standard for that, all their equipment yeah that's that sounds right. Yeah. Well, they won't they won't even work on it. Like they won't order parts for it or anything else. You have to go completely aftermarket. I did not know this. Mm-hmm. I came in that model, <laughs> the support for it ran out the day after I dropped it off. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, dude. That's some serious luck right yeah, there. Yeah. So we we uh of course I'd already gone in there and found out how much it was and everything else. But when I came back from Disney, I was like, well, let me go ahead and do this. Uh I dropped off on Tuesday, support ended on Friday. But luckily, it was already dropped off in, in the system, so they went ahead and repaired it. They couldn't re- war- warranty the repair. Uh, of course, they got bra- basically all brand new parts out of the deal. So hopefully, it won't go bad. The last one lasted six years without any problems other than the battery. So we should go, go on that. But nice. yeah, um, I just figured that's a public service announcement because I got lucky as shit. I hope you guys uh, don't have to. Right. Yeah, no kidding. Of course, Squid won't. Squid uh, Squid says, fuck Apple. He won't buy any laptops that expire five years after they go off the market. He's going to continue to buy laptops that expire a year after going off the market because they're just not powerful enough to keep up with the new stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and Nimbeam says, Fapple? Mm. I mean, as long as it's not Frapple, like a- that'd be the opposite yeah. of that, right? They get the fuck Apple, then you got the Frapping Apple. The frat, uh, yeah, wait, frap isn't frapple a thing? I don't know, isn't Snapple that like a is. snap? Maybe I'm thinking of Snapple, like it's like Snapple and a Frappuccino. Oh, Snapple yeah. Frap, 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Snapple frap. I like it. <laughs> frapple. Yeah, yeah, frapple. Um, Steam had their summer sale this year. Uh, of course, they have it every year. I went ahead and spent uh, about 30 bucks and bought like 400,000 games because they're all like a dollar a piece. They, yeah. This year, they had the Steam link for on sale at 95% off. It cost $2 or something. It cost me $8 to ship it. They wouldn't ship it to Alaska, so it's going to arrive at your house. And you're going to need to mail it up to me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> great. I've been assigned a task. <laughs> you, should, you should be used to this by now. Yeah. <laughs> this is oh, it's got lithium batteries. Yeah, that's coming to Ken's house. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm just going to start keeping the things that show up in my house. Well, I mean, if you do this one, I'm only out like nine bucks because there's only two fifty plus eight bucks in shipping and handling. So I guess ten fifty. <laughs> like I'm out. I'm out lunch, you know, uh, no big deal. So, yeah, I figured, uh, figured I'd let you know that live on the inter- interwebs. Uh, yeah, I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, but I, I was actually the the on the receiving end of uh, uh, the, the benefits of, of the Steam sale. Uh, cities, skylines, cities, city, cities, skylines, yep. cities, skylines, cities, colon, yeah. skylines. Cause you have to got, got to have a colon anytime, yeah. anytime there's a tribute to Sim City. We talked about this game a couple of weeks ago. I don't remember. It might've been in the post show. I don't remember if it was on the, the show proper, hmm. uh, but we were talking about that game and how much you enjoyed playing it. I actually, I think it was on the, on the show proper. Hmm. Um, then I ended up later that night going to Steam and noticing that it was on sale, mm-hmm. and I contemplated getting it, but because I'm such a uh, miser, miser, yeah, since I'm such a miser, I never went ahead and and squeezed the trigger and bought it. Is that a politically correct term? Like, can I say that without like hate groups firing at me or something? Like miser it just seems like one of those words that should be <laughs> that should be non PC by now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, misers unite! That's our word. <laughs> We're taking it back. Uh, Squid says, "Play Planet Coasters." I was actually going to pick that up for my daughter, but it was on sale and it's still like twenty one dollars, and it's just too much for a Steam game. Yeah, I'll yeah. wait for a better sale, but it's definitely on my list now. Uh, but yeah, so I I woke up this morning to a couple of emails in my inbox mm-hmm. saying that I received a, a Steam gift. Mm-hmm. And um, I am now the proud owner of the basic game and the Natural Disasters expansion pack. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much, Amos. You're welcome. Well, we were talking about it, and like you're too cheap to spend ten bucks on on a game for yourself, but you'd spend ten bucks on a game for me. So if I bought you a game for That's- your birthday, then right around April, like the spring the spring sale, I'd end up with like the Easter sale. I'd end up with some fucking random game in my shit for about ten bucks, <laughs> and we just keep keep that going. It's way better than hiring Len Peralta each time. Oh, tr- yeah, no doubt. <laughs> this will be our new tradition: <laughs> Steam games. Uh, we're gonna have to we're gonna, we're gonna have to get suggestions from people like ridiculous games, and then the the person who we buy it for has to play it. Has to play it for like an hour oh, yeah. on the Absolute fucking stream. stream. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so that that's gonna yeah, be our well, new thing now. Uh, you got until April ish uh, for my birthday, so go ahead and go ahead and come up with your crazy games that you that we shouldn't play, uh, <laughs> and uh, make make that a thing. Uh, Plague Inc. I actually have that on my iPad. I was playing that on the way back from uh, oh shit, maybe to Atlanta. I don't know. I was playing that somewhere and had a lot of fun with that. I bought that when it was r- really early, so I still get like expansions for free and shit. Yeah, yeah. Plague Inc. Uh, on the iPad is amazing. Excellent. So I watched a couple movies this week. You don't say, Mister Movie Pass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, and I'm I'm happy to report that the the surge pricing that mm-hmm. Movie Pass is starting to do mm-hmm. uh, that actually started today. Uh, but I'm not going to be affected because I bought an annual membership prior to the changes. So all of these negative changes that keep happening mm-hmm. don't don't affect me until oh, I until I you read up, which you're going to yeah. read up because you've used the fuck out of it. Well, yeah, like <laughs> I probably will. Like, but if if the company is still in existence in oh. ten months or whenever my my the, renewal is, up. you're not kidding. Holy shit, they, they are, are bleeding money. They're not bad. even bleeding money. They like they're they're ejaculating money. <laughs> like they're forcing the money out of their fucking. Uh, uh, they're, it's ridiculous. They've got projectile diarrhea. Of uh, money. Squid wants to talk about AMC's version, and we're gonna keep talking about Movie Pass because one, Kent has Movie Pass, and two, <laughs> all the others are new enough that we haven't had enough time yeah. to really get into them. 
Um, although yeah, Cord Killers has a really good breakdown of all that shit. Uh, not this week, but uh, not not this last episode, the episode before that. They really get into it and kind of uh, break down which one's which and stuff like that. So, Yeah, and they actually they talked uh, quite a bit about the AMC one mm-hmm. this week as well. Uh, oh, okay. But yeah, no, I, I used my movie pass twice this week. Um, the first time was uh, on Friday. Isaac really wanted to see this movie about dinosaurs. Um, uh, not, you know, not the lizard things that have been extinct for a long time, but the, the ones that, uh, play basketball, the old men, <laughs> no, we went and saw uncle drew, um, obviously making the, uh, dinosaur joke about the old men playing basketball in this movie. Uh, if you're really into basketball and you, you like the NBA personalities, I suggest going to see that movie. Yeah. It's, it's entertaining. It's fun. Uh, but if you're not like if you don't give a shit about about Kyrie and Shaq and all these guys, like uh, wait for it to come on Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> not even Redbox, Netflix. <laughs> like wait, yeah, wait until no, it comes in a service you've already paid for. It was. It's a fun movie. Yeah, uh, but it's not for everybody. Yeah, it's not gonna. Uh, Isaac and I enjoyed it. I, Isaac and I watch NBA all the time yeah. and that's just it's kind of our thing so it's, it's we, not we had it's to, not enough to make you trebuchet uh popcorn across the aisle definitely not <laughs> uh little, but then little, we little inside joke for jury fans um then a few days later we saw the other dinosaur movie uh the new jurassic jurassic world hmm. how was it um fun it was good yeah uh, i enjoyed it, i enjoyed jurassic world i didn't i didn't like uh so there, this makes the fifth jurassic a Jurassic Park movie, yep. Uh, in in essentially the same, the same universe. I don't I don't know. If there's specifically a division, but so in my mind, at least, they're all five in the same universe in the same timeline. Yes. Um, yeah. The first one was great. Watched it. It was the first movie in THX. Watched that in the theaters. Mm-hmm. Holy shit, it was amazing. The second one watched it. Didn't care for it. The third one I se- I've seen parts of it, but haven't actually watched the whole movie. Um, that tells you how much interest I had in it. Jurassic World comes along. I watched it in the theater. Thought it was good. Didn't think it was great, but thought it was good. So this is a movie that I wouldn't go see in the theater, but like I'm 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 ready for it to hit Redbox. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm I'm, I'm, a, I'm a week one Redbox kind of guy on this movie. You'll enjoy it. Yeah. If you find yourself in the theater like next week or something, I I would probably suggest this one and well it, unless you mm. haven't seen incredibles 2 yet i have not that's, i've also that's not probably... seen solo yet i've not seen uh oh. last movie i went to the theater to see was a quiet place oh which, dear god which, by the way if you're gonna if, if you're gonna watch one movie that's not a bad movie to watch in the theater yeah i, th- I think that's left the theater yeah. um sp- speaking of which uh, how uh how how are we doing on movies um, we aren't very good at the whole, uh, the whole movie thing. Uh, let's let, let Big Voice Jay tell us about it. Welcome to your BT Movie Draft Minute presented by DiamondClub.tv for the week of July 2nd, 2018. I'm your host, Big Voice Jay. You know, I had a joke about construction here, but uh, I'm still working on it. Never mind, let's go to the scoreboard. Team Walking Drunk is in last place with a $9 million jump on the weekend from the first perch and a $21 million weekend from Uncle Drew, bringing their total to $81.3 million. Team Ritual Misery falls to fifth place with $378.9 million. Team The Bot Squad jumps to fourth place with $458.6 million. Team Game Night's in third place with $449.5 million. Team Have a Drink maintains second place with $753.1 million. And in first place for another week, it's Team Movie Party with $876.6 million. You had your movie draft minute. All totals accurate as of July 5th, 2018. Um, dude. We're losing our ass. Uh... (laughs) Everybody keeps getting these these huge huge movies. Vod Squad with with Jurassic World just coming in and just wrecking our shit. Mm. Um, Incredibles two has made all the freaking money, dude. Yeah, they <sighs> half a billion dollars at this point. Dude, they're, they're, they're making creeping, Avengers they're creeping money. up on Avengers money. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and I mean they 
the movie party overtook have a drink like immediately upon the release of Incredibles 2. Like yeah. it's it's unreal, dude. They they they're beating them by over 100 million dollars now. And we were just a few weeks ago questioning if anyone would even come close to have a drink's numbers. Mhm. Uh man, Movie Party is is running away with this and they've got a couple movies left. And this this is so. all while Jurassic World has been chomping into the Incredibles 2. Like, yeah, you know, back to back weeks. Like this is not this is not in a vacuum. Yep. Like you know, uh, you could say <sighs> Avengers happened in a vacuum. Like, there's no other major huge movies going on around it. And Solo, Solo had had a good showing. Deadpool two had a good showing. But you got, I mean, Ocean's eight even is even making some money right before Incredibles two. Then Incredibles two hits. They've got almost half a billion dollars. And then you've got Jurassic World the next week has got a third of a billion dollars. Like they're th- this is not th- this is good, man, dude. And it's gonna keep going. The only team we're beating right now is Walking Drunk, and dude, the only reason they're so far behind everybody is because hardly any of their movies have come out yet. Yeah, and the, and, and the Wasp weekend, hasn't hasn't reported yet. So, yeah, that I mean, it just came out like a few hours ago. Right. So like. By the time we're talking next week about the movie draft, we might be in last place, dude. Yeah, and according to Tom Merritt, uh, Ant Man Ant Man and the Wasp is pretty fucking good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like I it, mean, it's right. It's right. What Marvel needs right now, as far as the the universe goes, you know, the romantic, the the the, the rom com ad. I don't, I don't right, know that's the thing. But um, we need uh, we need Hotel Transylvania next week uh, to do a, a amazing. And we need Mission Impossible to basically walk on fucking water. Yeah, j- just to not come in last place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we need both mm-hmm. those movies to overperform. It's, yeah. So dude. next year's draft would be a lot different. Uh, we were. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I think this was a good learning experience. Yeah, definitely. Um, oh, man, boy. that sucks so bad. If you would like to help us do better on next week's movie, next year's movie draft, cruise on over by uh, patreoncom slash misery. Uh, Shows you give a fuck by giving us a buck and making all of us smile really big. Right, Kent? Uh, Yes. We like to smile, and every buck gets our smile bigger and better. I don't don't know if that's a good thing with the smile I do. I don't know. But uh, (laughs) patreon.com slash ritual misery. Yeah. Hey, man. Uh, um, Dude, we promised it a little while ago. mm. And I know... Uh, apparently, jury covered it earlier today, but we haven't listened to it yet. Correct. I just want to say that having the 4th of July in the middle of the fucking week, for for the the purposes of a federal employee, is complete garbage. Yep. It's absolute crap. Memorial Day, Labor Day, they got that shit down. MLK Day and President's Day, that first Monday shit, they got that shit down. Mm-hmm. Can't move Christmas because well, it's too. The, 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 there's a history behind why it's on the 25th. But Fourth of July, like damn it, do we really have to do it on the fourth? Like can't it, can't that one be one of those ones we yeah move around? Like, Independence Day observed, right? Like move it to like if it's on a Wednesday, move it to a Thursday or a Tuesday, so that we can get that four day weekend goodness. Or, or, I would even take moving it to the Monday or the Friday. Like I'm down, I'm down with the two yeah. day shift. Uh, having a, a set day in the middle of the week when you are in the federal uh, 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 employee is bullshit. Because like Tuesday was a Friday, we had to sh- jam to get everything done because you couldn't just walk away from it and come back to it on Monday. And then this morning was complete garbage because all the shit you didn't get done Tuesday had a day to stew, and now everybody's pissed off even more. <laughs> and they're hungover in the middle of the fucking week, like. It's like the worst of 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 worst of Christmas plus the worst of of uh, St. Patty's Day, except it's in it, the middle of the fucking heat it, ass summer. And we had so here in town we had uh, it's supposedly the first annual. Uh, uh, what do they call it? Red, white, and blue. Wait, 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 dude. Wait. I know you hate that term, wait. but it's intended to be an annual festival, and this was the but, first one. But that they it, did. It's not. It's you, it's not yet annual. You, it's planned annual. Right, but you this can't speak the to the one. regularity of it until it has some regularity. It's planned annually. Um, 
<laughs> anyway, um, why you are so hung up about first annual? I don't. I, I the don't. The same know. reason why fun. people. I'm so hung up about, about about people when they say, um, "We always never." Right. So, Fuck off with that. So anyway, uh, so for the first time ever, we had a festival in town for the Fourth of July, called the Red, White, and Blue Brews and Music Festival. Or I don't know, it's a real mouthful kind of name, uh, but it's a really good time. But the thing is, they gave I think it's two thousand free entries to the base to mm-hmm. hand out to people, and part of the point of this festival was beer. Hmm. No one was off work today, <laughs> but everyone half the base, was hungover. <laughs> yeah, half the base was at the festival, <laughs> getting fucked up. Yep. Um, yeah. So the festival itself was a was a pretty good time, but the fireworks were a complete bust. And by complete bust, I mean one hundred percent fail, because we got a classic New Mexico windstorm. And they called it off for safety. Mm. So oh, we're going to observe the 4th of July tomorrow night on Friday when hopefully the wind has calmed down. I know tonight it is crazy as hell, almost as bad as it was last night. Uh, hopefully tomorrow it's a lot better. So in the Matsu borough, which is the Matanuska Susitna land area, Gesundite? Yeah. Uh, it, it's the valley where the Matanuska River from the Matanuska <laughs> Glacier and the Susitna River from the Susitna Glacier uh, uh, kind of have carved out this, this valley. Do you, do you kiss your mother with that mouth? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the borough, which is essentially the same as the county. In our county, our, our bureau, it is illegal to fire off fireworks except for December 31st. And a lot of people have heartache over this. I'm here to tell you it's fucking pointless to fire off fireworks on the 4th of July here. Mm. It's a misdemeanor. But does either one of those facts, do either one of those facts stop people from popping off fucking fireworks on the 4th of July? No. It's, it's like no. they're, it, it's, it's almost like people are, hey, you know what is really cool about the 4th of July? Oh, uh, yeah, the, the fireworks. No. No, no uh, not, 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 uh, not the fireworks. Uh, uh, I've seen the bright colors. No. No, it's not the not the bright color. Uh, uh, celebrating uh, the rockets and the no, no, that's not cool either. You know what's really cool about the Fourth of July? Freaking the fuck out of everybody's animals. That's what we want to do. Because Ugh. they were popping off all these goddamn fireworks, these loud bang ass fireworks. You couldn't see them. You there's right. It's daylight. It's it's like six o'clock in the afternoon in everywhere else in the world. At ten o'clock here. And there's no, like, you can't, it's just noises. Right. Yep. So, yeah, it's stupid. And, yeah. And there's a lot of, like, it, I, I think there's a bit of a, a movement about um, fireworks, uh, like, not letting people fire them off in neighborhoods uh, because of pets. Uh, not only pets, but uh, uh, people with PTSD. Mm. Gen- just general uh, anxiety. Yeah. And, because I mean, they are very noisy. I know my dogs; they are like scared as fuck for probably about six hours mm-hmm. every every December thirty first and July fourth. Uh, it's just kind of <laughs> a, a biannual or a semi annual tradition around right. here for the dogs. Um, uh, but yeah, people with PTSD, uh, like you said, just general anxiety. And the thing about it is, if it was kept to like a one hour window i mean you could kind of plan for that you could get out of town if you uh, needed to or, or whatever the case mm-hmm. uh but people just set them off at like the dumbest hours on the dumbest days yep. like up to two weeks before the fourth of july people are setting that shit off and they don't do it like in the afternoon or something like that it's like at you know midnight two in the morning some bullshit somebody's setting crap off and it's like what are you doing man i I don't know. I just I don't understand why people do that. And um, plus, yeah. it's on a Wednesday. Yeah, and that. <laughs> God, that is just yep. so stupid. Remember back in the day, we'd get like Wednesday and Thursday off, or we get Tuesday and Wednesday off, and you were always like 
fucking really? <laughs> like, I got to come to work on Friday, just Friday. Right. Just, yep. just, just Friday? And then everybody and their brother tried to take leave that day. And, of course, that's against the rules because of special passes yep. and this and that. No, and, yeah. and nobody would understand that. And so all the popular kids would fucking get. Uh, this is me against popular people again. But <laughs> it, all the all the all the all the popular kids that you know suck their supervisor's dick on the weekends would be able to get to take the fucking day off and have like a five day weekend and shit. No, I'm not yeah. a bitter fucking ex airman. <laughs> um, now I'm you're a bitter still an airman. Well, now I'm a bitter in senior NCO. It's totally different. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, that is that is totally a different thing. <laughs> Completely different biases. Now I'm like, yeah, I got, gave them the day off. They worked their ass off. What the fuck you been doing? But as the fucking A1C sloucho, I was like, why the fuck is he getting the day off? I want the day off too. Anyway, yeah, we shouldn't be doing fourth. Christmas, you can't move around. Fine. We can observe the 4th of July, Independence Day, on any day we want. And by the way, it's not Happy 4th. Stop saying Happy 4th. It's You, you don't say Merry 25th. Like, just... I'm st- ah, it's easy to say. It, no, it, it is. I I understand completely, but I'm still gonna fucking rebel against that shit just because I don't like it. <laughs> I, I don't have an objective reason. I just don't like it. it, it I just pure, don't like it. Purely subjective. Just don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't follow oh in gosh. the tenet of my mindset. All right. <laughs> my, my favorite thing about the Fourth of July is just the the cookouts and the beer mm. and hanging out with with people that are in the mood to party cuz that's just you know it's just goes with it if it's going to be and, on a wednesday, uh, on a wednesday they should at least give us like thursday after or tuesday afternoon off or thursday morning off thursday morning i would vote for thursday morning uh, make it a half day yeah like like they do for the super bowl and and uh, when you're overseas yeah exactly you know exactly. Everybody, everybody comes in on like uh like monday afternoon right because monday morning was the super bowl so it comes in Monday afternoon. They basically show their face and leave. Yeah, yeah. I, I think in I think at Kunsan we did like a like a supervision meeting that yeah. lasted like twenty minutes, and then like called that the duty day. We uh we had a Super Bowl party at the Hooch, which was the duty day. Ah. So got an alternate duty location. Sure, call it what you want. <laughs> it, it, it was also jeans and jerseys day. So if you didn't want to wear a uniform, you just wear jeans and your jersey and you walked away. And of course, all the people that didn't want to buy a jersey are like, that's bullshit. Why are they getting away with that shit? Because they spent fucking 70 bucks on this goddamn jersey to celebrate unit pride, you piece of shit. Go get a fucking right. jersey. <laughs> you can spend 20 bucks and get a basic jersey and not have any decorum about it at all. At least you're wearing jeans and a fucking T-shirt that day instead of your damn uniform if you're that goddamn worried about it. 20 bucks is not a big issue. <laughs> fucking slouches man i've been a grump lately like i've been on my man period or something because holy shit like everything has been pissing me off yeah avis avis is just gonna bitch about everything i should just like have a list of things so, like so here's here's something for you usually when i when i go to my <laughs> psychologist all right um i go in there and I, I basically tell her all this shit that's stressing me out we have a like nice little conversation i leave there i'm happy because i've ha- had a chance to vent it on a, a neutral party uh have i not talked about me going to a psychologist before anyway uh it's public knowledge now um I went in there this week, and with everything that's been going on, like I ranted for 45, 50 minutes, and she had like two minutes at the end of the fucking session to actually say something. It was like, it was, it was, it was bad. Was it Zen? It was, was it Zen? It made me feel better. I think she might have cried when she got home. But <laughs> <laughs> she she going to cry in the car. <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, that's, that's just, uh, it, it, oh my God, man, I've, this, this last couple weeks has just been fucking crazy. Hey, um, you know what else is crazy? The, the fact that we've gone so long without having to have a drink video, but we finally have one. So I'm going to go ahead and cue that up while you introduce it because I just introduced it really shittily and they deserve better than that. Yeah. Have a drink is a weekly show on diamondclub.tv and twitch.tv slash have a drink show. Yes, have a drink show. Uh, they, <laughs> I had to confirm. Have a drink show dot com for all the links. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, it's four of the coolest people that I have ever met, and mm. they talk about beer and whiskey and tea and coffee and all of the beverages. And I can't wait th- for their episode on lactose-free milk. Is it really milk? <laughs> 
<laughs> on, a, <laughs> on an episode of Have a Drink coming soon. <laughs> so, so if you have lactose-free milk versus like fat-free milk, which one is more milk? And then you can go like like fat-free, lactose-free milk. Is that just water? Like literal fucking water? <laughs> Oh, my gosh. So anyway, this week we have a video from Chris from Have a Drink Show where he's going to tell us about a beer, I believe. Let's do this. Oh, my God. Of course it would fucking do that. <laughs> uh, are you telling me that the video failed? Did, uh, your, <laughs> did your setup not work the way it was supposed to? <laughs> Shut up. Hey guys, Chris here from Have a Drink. Uh, wanted to share a drink with you guys today that I've been really wanting to try for a while. This is uh, New Belgium's The Hemperer HPA. Uh, so brewers have been exploiting the close relation between hops and other plants, such as hemp, for quite a while. And a lot of these have really bad names, uh, really punny names, such, such as Redanculus from Founders Brewing or pretty much anything you're going to find from Lagunitas Brewing. Uh, rumor has it this one from New Belgium is really something special. So let's go ahead and check it out. Oh, the nose is just dank. Every every sense of the word dank. Mmm. Big hot bite on that one, and like a sweet honey finish. It's absolutely delightful. Uh, one thing that New Belgium was doing with this is they've partnered with GCH Inc. in supporting the national campaign Hemp for Victory. One dollar from every barrel of the Hemper HPA sold will be donated to Hemp for Victory in support of its mission to raise awareness and promote pro-hemp bills in the House and Senate. So you guys can catch us live Saturdays at 9 p.m. Eastern on Twitch or over at haveadrinkshow.com. We'll see you guys next time. Um, I just want to bring up, he said that they are pro-hemp, not pro-pot. Not pro marijuana, uh, right? Which is the 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 hemp trade and the hemp uh, and the, the lack of industrialization of hemp is, I think, one of the things that we really need to fucking fix. Even if we don't legalize pot uh, 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 nationwide, because hemp is just a very very fucking useful uh, plant. Oh, absolutely, and, and I mean. For the record, I, I am all for the, the full legalization of marijuana, yeah. period. But, yeah, I mean, it, if we're doing half measures, I, yeah, hemp needs to be um, exploited yeah. for all of its uses. It's, uh, it's a wonderful plant. Um, I, and, and should we not call it marijuana anymore? Should we refer back to cannabis so we get rid of the – because the, marijuana came around as a name – because they wanted to stereotype Mexicans that were smoking cannabis. So they wanted to give it a, a, a Mexican sounding name to kind of stimulate the, the thought. And, you know, you, you've seen Reefer Madness. You know all this. Um, <laughs> so I, 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 uh, I say yeah. on this show, uh, the politically correct way of saying, uh, uh, referring to uh, the, the, the cannabis sativa plant will be cannabis. We will, uh, we will not use marijuana. Uh, we will correct people who do. Let's remove the stereotype. Let's get rid of the fucking reefer madness. Let's revert back to the ways. Uh, what, what is it? Uh, 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 shit. Donnie, who put the little poem that, that he ripped off of play, uh, Penthouse. It says, uh, God is perfect, man is not. Man made beer, God made pot. Yes. Yes, so. milkman. Sure. Yeah, yep. whatever, Donnie. <laughs> Donnie Fritz calling you out. What's up? Oh, man. <laughs> Good times. Um yeah, dude. Uh, cannabis. Cannabis, definitely. Team good, cannabis. Good for you. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's 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 not been shown to be bad for you. I mean, I, yeah, that that's exactly it. Because um, everybody that says like cannabis is bad for you, they're like, oh, it's just as bad as smoking cigarettes. Eat the shit. Have some fucking pot brownies and tell me that that is bad for you now. Yeah, you know it's gonna be an interesting day if. If marijuana, uh, if cannabis is federally legalized, especially if it's completely destigmatized and federal employees are allowed to partake, mm. uh, that's going to be an interesting. Or if I just like completely retire or get out of the the uh, government employee system altogether, mm. it's going to be an interesting thing. Trying marijuana, uh, I mean cannabis, that's right. going to be a hard habit to break. Right, but um, it's important that we make the stand because we don't we don't stand up for a lot of shit on this show. 
Yeah. No, you but know, yeah. Oh, the, the normal try- stuff, the no hate speech. Don't be coming on here talking about deep, 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 fucking, you know, beating your wife and shit like that. Like, we're not all about the abuse and all that kind of stuff. Like, that's obvious. But we, we, we got to make a stand. Uh, we're going to make a fucking stand on this one. Down with marijuana, up with cannabis. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, it, it works uh, either way. <laughs> get high with cannabis. Yeah. Uh, no, it's, it's going to be an interesting thing, man, because it's a different thing than when I tried it in high school that one time. Yeah, no, it's completely, it's, it's a whole different fucking ball game. And, and make, make no qualms about it. September 2nd, 2019, on my back patio, if you can make it here, <laughs> if you're watching this show right now and you can make it here, uh, uh, I'm not making any promises about where you'll stay. You have to, uh, all of your own arrangements. But if you can make it to my back patio, on September 2nd of 2019, um, we, we will be having the party. <laughs> um, yeah, depending on activities, I might have to uh, disappear yeah. for, <laughs> for part of the evening. So, <laughs> you, my prediction you, is I'll still be federally employed. <laughs> well, you, you'll, you'll have to be here to uh, observe as the uh the 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 uh the 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 watchful observer the the non biased observer got it <laughs> <laughs> what to film that and put it on the internet uh i'm thinking twitch stream what <laughs> uh, i'm going to i'm going to twitch my uh my retirement i mean you couldn't skype me for yours which is cool but i'm going to go ahead and twitch <laughs> my fucking retirement like that's i'm i'm already, I've already got plans to make that happen it's my little notebook for retirement notes I'm right twi- on twitching my retirement. I'm going to try to make a big deal out of it. So like uh, Brian and Justin and shit like that will get on board and fucking. Oh, that'd be badass. Yeah. Make, yeah. It, make it a thing. Make, share it with the fucking Diamond Club. Um, right on, man. Uh, I, I what to, else? It means I have to fucking flash gang signs in uniform. That should be fun. Oh, th- no. Th- you should definitely do that. It's, it's not a gang. It's, it's a cult, right? It's not a cult. Uh, sh- uh, it's um. A, yeah, to- totally not a, not not a cult. cult. Not a cult. <laughs> <laughs> Are we off the rails yet? Have we found the rails? We're the rails. We're we're about to. You know, before we fly completely off the rails, you need a uh, you wait. need a sounder. You need a fucking choo choo sounder. That's what you need. So every time we go off the rails, you can be like flying off the rails. Oh, I should. Oh, yeah. that's a good idea. You 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 just realize how much you've been failing like for the last four years we've been doing this show. Like <laughs> I can hear in your voice like the defeat is the defeatism in your voice. Like oh, that's <laughs> we should have been doing like damn it. Oh my gosh! Um, yeah, so before we fly completely, off the <laughs> where rails. this show is going, you're not going to need rails, according to Mike Neem. <laughs> uh, so yeah, everybody should check me out on Twitter. Rm underscore Del Noche is that what we're is doing now? I am. Yeah. Uh, um, I'm also I'm either Del Noche or Del Noche seventy seven. Pretty much everywhere else on the internet. What about mm. you, dude? Uh, at Ethan Kane, and you, if you look at Ethan Kane on Twitter, you will see that recently I finished the book uh, Pilot X. I read it on my way back from Hartford, Connecticut. I literally started it after we took off at Hartford and finished it before we landed, about an hour before we landed in Anchorage. It's an amazing book. Um, holy shit, dude. Like I, I've read some of the stuff that Tom's written before, but that is a. I'm gonna end up mail you. You mail me my Steam box, and I'll mail you my signed copy of Pilot X, so you can read it, because it's fucking good. Like it's a good excellent. Book. Um, but yeah, uh, at Ethan Kane on Twitter. Uh, Twitter, yeah, Twitter. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think I've only had one beer. This is good. Uh, and then you can follow, follow the show at Ritual Misery. You can submit ideas on our subreddit, ritualmisery.reddit.com. You can find all these links and more ways to support the show. And give feedback at our website, ritualmisery.com. Uh, we are live every Thursday night at 7 p.m. Pacific on diamondclub.tv and twitch.com slash ritualmisery. Um, I'm going to hit the button now because I should have hit the button a little while ago. <laughs> fucking, fucking buttons You're just taking a cue from me because every time I do the show by myself, I screw that yeah. up real bad. Uh, thank you so much for Kevin McLeod to, for allowing us to use his music. And uh, I mean, we pay for it, but whatever. Uh, thank you for listening. For Kent, for me, and for you, this has been your Ritual Misery Podcast. See ya. Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>
I still got to make this. never on the rails. Yeah. I, I, I still got to make the little sounder and, and buy the app so that I can use the sounder because the app that I'm currently using fucking sucks donkey balls. Um, <laughs> for the, uh, the R-I-T-U-A-L-M-I-S-E-R-Y. Oh, Jesus. We still yeah. need to clean copy that too. I just had the copy that I that gave was, from SoundCloud. Um, yeah, that was uh, flavored toothpaste. Flavored toothpaste, yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you're watching this flavor, uh, we need a clean copy of that. Like, get on that, Ken. Email and let them know we need a clean copy. Like, not a SoundCloud ripped copy, but like an actual yeah file. We'll probably hit him up on Discord later. 